Hi everybody in YouTube land, my name is Stacy, and you found this video by either doing a YouTube search for Miko pegs or Goldwing Highway pegs. And so I'm going to share with you my experiences with Miko pegs and what I chose, why I got it, and how successful they've been with me. Hopefully it helps you. So first thing I did was I got on my bike and I decided this is not a good leg angle. And I decided how do I mount uh, pegs down lower and give me a good uh, leg position or foot position but yet still be out of the way and I did a Google search and I found Miko pegs but nobody did a successful YouTube uh, evaluation of them so that's what I'm doing here today so if my cameraman can zoom in I want to show you what a Miko peg is here it's this block here that mounts to the crash bar it's spring loaded so when you step on it the bar comes down when on their website, you'll see they make tons of different kinds. I couldn't get my mind around having a peg that went on the inside. I had to go with the DL. This is a DL version with the peg on the outside. This is the stock peg it comes with. I think it's this one of the most ugly pegs in the industry. So I took that off and I got the Karyakin ISO single peg. It's actually um, designed for Harley Davidson shifter. They make it in short and long. I got the short because I didn't want it sticking out any further than it needed to be. I found out that the DL actually kind of curved out a little bit. I wasn't happy with that, so I bent it in. Ideally, I decided I wanted my foot in as close and down low as possible. So I simply bent the bar so that when I put my foot down, it's in closer than with it being bent out. Most of the time, I actually sit with my foot like this because that brings it in closer and that's what's comfortable with for me. Now I know the Miko pegs make them so your feet are out here, you're up here, some of them have them where you're here with the peg like I said going in. I just couldn't get my mind around that one. So this is what I did the DL. I put my foot down out like this sometimes I sit like this sometimes I go out here but 90 percent of the time I'm actually like this. This allows me if my cameraman can back up a little bit this allows me look at this good positioning of my upper leg and lower leg. I'm not stretching to reach it, and it's a nice, comfortable position. I also can actually stand up on these pegs or put full body weight on them. Sometimes I just go like this to unweight my seat. It gives me great position, lots of comfort. And now as my cameraman comes back in, my concern, which is I'm sure your concern is if you don't have a pair of Miko pegs, is they're down lower, I'm going to scrape. So let's say I'm going into a left turn. If I know it's a sharp turn, I simply put my foot up, make the turn, come back, put my foot down. It's a habit that happens really easily when you do it, when you've done it a couple times. So, in conclusion, are they worth it? Yes. I personally think it made this gold wing uh, so much more comfortable. I just recently completed my first um, iron butt, which is a thousand miles in 24 hours, and I don't know how I could have done, could not have done it without having the Miko pegs. So, one more thing I know all you people are going to make comments or questions about. When you saw the zoom in, you saw all the orange on the bottom of the bike. And there's my cameraman showing you, and I'm going to answer why there's orange on my bike. If you zoom in here to the theme of the bike, there's your answer. Hope this helps you. Hope you uh, choose Miko pegs. I don't work for them. I'm just giving you my opinion.